Good afternoon, this is Shaman Oracle reading and this reading is for Capricorn and I like to finish up with Capricorn, then Aquarius and then Pisces today. Okay, so this is for Capricorn and Capricorn got a plant spirit soul card, Eucalyptus Globulus. This plant, Eucalyptus Globulus, is known as the Southern Blue Gum a tall evergreen tree endemic to southeastern Australia. It has a sticky gum-like substance that the tree secretes. This gum is very fragrant and contains antibacterial properties which make the tree extremely pest resistant. The blue gum is an important general construction timber and it is widely used for flooring, fencing, paneling, boat building and used also in a variety of landscaping and gardening like lawn and border etchings, pathways and so forth. The leaves of the eucalyptus globulus are steam distilled to extract the oil. The primary source of the global eucalyptus oil production comes from Australia. The oil has therapeutic properties and has established itself internationally because it is virtually philanthropic free which allows it to be used in pharmaceutics. It is used in many over-the-counter cough and cold medicines to relieve congestion. Eucalyptus is also used in creams and ointments to relieve muscles and joint pain. Especially the breathing apparatus benefits from this powerful plant and gives your body new circulation. Deeper breathing is important because if you breathe too flat, then the mind is restricted because it does not get enough oxygen. So in a sense, the eucalyptus plant spirit comes in your reading to let you know that you need to breathe deep and with full conscience so that your lungs get enough oxygen. So Capricorn say this affirmation, I feel good. Every breath I take shows me the wonder of living by supporting my lungs. I breathe free and powerful. See again, I feel good. Every breath I take shows me the wonder of living by supporting my lungs. I breathe free and powerful. Last time, I feel good. Every breath I take shows me the wonder of living by supporting my lungs. I breathe free and powerful. Meditate to connect to this plant soul and to show you gratitude to have healthy lungs. You can use eucalyptus oil in the morning. Just use two to three drops of the oil on your shower floor and enjoy the fragrance and rejuvenation while you take a shower. The medicinal benefits of eucalyptus globulus are deep and freer breathing, strengthening of the lungs and bronchi, better all-around well-being because of a more calm and refreshed body, and the balancing out of irritations. And this plant is for all chakras. Now we come to the card number two, the Divine Feminine card, and the card that came out for you, Capricorn, is Sarada Devi. And Sarada Devi is also called Divine Mother. 
Three Sarada Devi embodies the feminine power that initiates seekers onto a spiritual path through unconditional love. Sarada Devi was born in Chirambati, India in 1853 to poor Brahmin parents. As a little girl, she worshipped a clay figure of the goddess Kali and meditated and began to have visions. At age five, she was promised to the priest of the Dakshinewar Kali temple, a beloved mystic named Ramakrishna. Ten years later, she joined him at the temple and they began their lifelong spiritual marriage together. Sarada's husband Ramakrishna performed the Shodashi Pucha with her. This meant that Sarada, Sarada was positioned in the seat of the goddess Kali and was addressed as Sri Ma or Holy Mother. Sarada is considered to be Ramakrishna's first disciple and the both became notable mystics with large international followings. Sarada helped from the monastic order for the devotees of Ramakrishna after he died. And because she was so beloved, a monadic order was founded for women in her honor. She paved the way for future generations of women to enter the spiritual life. As a guru, Sarada Devi was known for treating all her disciples as her children. Many of her devotees recalled that she initiated them in a dream. She appeared as a goddess in human form and gave them a mantra. When they met her for the first time, they would recall the dream and know instantly they were encountering their guru. Sarada Devi loved all her disciples unconditionally and equally. In her teachings, she emphasized that there is no such thing as a stranger. She encouraged her devotees to understand that everyone we meet is actually a part of us and is connected to us. And that if we want to experience true peace, we need to own the fault and judgment that we project on to others. We need to see our own faults and forgive them with love, said Sarada Devi. Sarada Devi whispers gently to us, no one is a stranger, my child. This whole world is your own. So if something keeps showing up in the people we meet, and in the relationships we are cultivating, Sarada asks us to meet them from within us, meaning the aspects of this other person that might be causing us pain or frustration or just plain aversion. These same aspects, aspects exist within us, Sarah Devi said. Unless we are willing to really meet with these aspects within us, the universe will keep presenting them to us in our relationships. And it is not to pass us off, it is to free us. It is out of a deep love for us to fully heal. The goal here is for us to love ourselves fiercely from within without judgment or shame for where we are in the moment. The goal is to let us 
mother ourselves with unconditional love. That is the only love that will quiet those harsh, critical voices within us. So we can stop wasting our time with the judgment of others or ourselves and get on with being the perfectly imperfect light that we are. Now we come to the Shaman's Dream Oracle card, Capricorn, and the card that came out for you is called Heart Home. And the Heart Home is about love in its truest form and compassion. This card came out fitting so well into your reading, I think. We just learned about unconditional love taught by Sarada Devi. And now this card called Heart Home, Heart Home came up fitting well, very well in, I think. The card reminds you that your true home is your heart and you can always return to it in need to find that quiet place to settle down. Put everything on hold for a short while because you are being offered the experience of love in its purest form, namely unconditional and unbounded love. This is not a love you have to do things for, work hard to earn love, so drop into your heart space and rest there for a press or two. Replace the judgment of yourself or others with compassion and trust that it can really be that easy. When this card comes up, Capricorn, it says there is no need to forgive anyone for anything because None of it occurred in spiritual truth. It is only your belief in that story that makes it so powerful. Allow your love to wash clean all those impressions and empty yourself of all judgment and preconceptions. And spirit will come and support you, bringing the sweet nectar of Peace. It is important to hear the card's message, Capricorn. Otherwise, the universe might think you do not need such a blessing and bring you right back to old ways of judgment and unforgiving. So, trust the card, Capricorn, and accept your sweet nectar of peace. So, that was your reading, Capricorn. Thank you for listening. I wish you a wonderful Saturday and tomorrow a nice Sunday. And I hope you come back next time when I have another reading for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you and goodbye.